first of 19 fences coming towards them now and uh, on the left of the picture in the blue jacket uh, Sunny Bay is up with the early pace Senor Butruti on the outside and they take the first where one man is last but one challenger to look last of all and the national win a rough quest last uh, in the last three the next one they take is an open ditch Sunny Bay Barton Banks and Senor Butruti just uh, stepped through it Jeddah goes through in the third Senor Butruti racing in four then we've got Seymour Business in five and one man the inside challenger to look and rough quest and the pace looks steady it may look slow, but it's very, very testing ground here. And from on high, we see them turning towards the back straight, the narrowest part of the course, this. The chase course head towards fence number three with Sunny Bay leading by about uh, three parts of a length. To Barton Bank in second, Senor Obertruti back in third. Seymour Business, the outside of Jeddah and one man. And then we have Challenger to look three lengths in front of the national winner rough quest who's the back marker next one the fourth is another open dish and barton bank who's a course regular here strides through to take command and spring heel jumps it well takes two lengths away to sunny bay in second place jedda the french raider showing in third one man in four and then a line of three challenging to look senior albertruti in the black and yellow seymour business rough quest is at the back as they take that plain fence, that was the fifth, and quickly arrive at the wings of the sixth. With Barton Bank, a big money spinner, this bank leads. Wasn't Rough Quest economical jumping at the back of the pack? So it's Barton Bank and Adrian Maguire, horses uh, won the race before by a length two. Sunny Bay in second, then one man in third, and Jeddah the outside of him. And the black and yellow wide on the course is Seymour Business. Challenger de Look follows, then Senor Petruti, one of the most improved chasers in training this season, but facing a big test here towards the back now with Rough Quest as they level up down the home straight for the first time. This is the seventh. A row of three plane fences on this triangle, or this stretch of the triangular track, with Barton Bank leading. Sunny Bay sits in second, Seymour Business on the outside of Jeddah and one man going the shortest way as they cross the next. Then Challenger to look and a rough quest the inside of Senor Albertruti. And this uh, soft ground may not suit here. This will be the last. Next time round, Barton Bank comes to it. The fencer claimed him two or three years ago, but he's over safely in the lead. Come up past the winning line then, a circuit to go. And all the eight runners jumping safe and sound. Barton Bank leads by a neck to Sunny Bay in second and Seymour Business, the outside of Jeddah and one man, and then Challenger to look, followed by Rough Quest and Senior Albertruti. And when the going gets tough, the tough get going, and they're going out on the final circuit towards the water jump. Stamina, speed, the hallmarks of champion chasers, all of them have an abundance of Senior Albertruti. Just a little bit of a hint of four faults there. They've completed a circuit in this Potemps King George. This is the 11th, was their first. And coming into it, Barton Bank, the inside of Sunny Bay. Jeddah keeping tabs on them on the outer. Seymour Business, one of the favourites, one man. Really running away under Richard Dunwoody. Then we have challenges. Look, what a bold jump there by Sunny Bay, the grey in second place. Barton Bank, though, still matching strides with him as they swing right-handed again. And let's check the SPs as they make the run towards the back straight. Joint favourites out of the off, Sunny Bay and one man at 9 to 4. Rough Quest, one of the back markers at 11 to 2. Barton Bank at 8 to 1 is the leader as they come down the back straight in the seventh from home. The course gets a bit wider now and they go down towards fence number 13. And it's Barton Bank that leads to Sunny Bay on the outside. The horse with his ears pricked, one man is behind them. The black and yellow colour Seymour business has been a little bit novicey at some of his fences, but he jumped that one well enough. Senor Albertruti is the back marker now, but he has uh, got speed when it counts, and they're only about ten lengths off the pace. Closely grouped, this is the last ditch they have to jump. Barton Bank still just has the edge. Barton Bank to Sunny Bay and one man and Seymour business. And then comes Challenger to look, and then Rough Quest, who we know will be delivered late. Jeddah, the French rider, is about eight lengths off the pace now. Senor Obertruti is the uh, back marker. One man made a bad mistake there. Has it knocked the stuffing out of him? Is there still plenty of horse left? 
three uh, in line at the fourth from home. Barton Bank, oh, he made a mistake there. And Barton Bank's chances have surely gone. A Seymour business ridden by Andrew Thornton, the jockey who's having his best ever season, comes up to press. Sunny Bay, there was a health doubt over the that one. Back in third place is a challenger to look on the outside. Rough quest getting closer. So they come down towards the third from home, and it's Seymour Business on the outside of Sunny Bay. They've got three to jump in the potence King George, and here comes one man closing in now. It's Seymour Business, one man going for his third win in the race. Three out, Seymour Business, one man on the inside. Challenger to look is making a run on the right. Don't rule out Rough Quest yet. This is the second last, and it's Challenger to look and Seymour Business, and on the inside, one man. Then we have run for what Rough Quest and Sunny Bay is beaten. They come down towards the final fence, and one man has hit the wall again in this turn. They come down to the last. Challenger to look, Tony McCoy, champion jockey. Seymour Business sees one good stride the far side. It's a race for outsiders this as they battle to the line. It's Seymour Business and Challenger to look. They're clear of Rough Quest up towards the line. Hail a new hero. Seymour Business wins it in second place. Challenger to look in third horse home is Rough Quest. Fourth horse home is Sunny Bay. A sad and tired side is one man trotting past the post. Then we have uh, Barton Bank who blundered away his chances and so the result of this the Potemps King George at 10 to 1 Seymour Business has won in the colours of Messrs Keithley and Barber trained at Shepton Mallet by Paul Nichols and ridden by Andy Thornton 25 year old Andy born in Stockton up in Cleveland having his first ride in the race and his 44th uh, winner of this his best season and he has prevailed here second horse home was number two challenger to look challenged at the final fence for champions trainer Martin Pipe champion jockey Tony McCoy but Seymour Business had more in, up uh, in reserve third horse home is number five Rough Quest ridden by Mick Fitzgerald the national winner one man one of the three grades in the race a sad sight as he came to the final fence on this ground he just couldn't cope it's a grey day for the greys well this has been a fascinating finish to this race as Seymour Business and Andy Thornton go to it they've been forcing the issue from halfway down the back the last time Challenger to luck comes there cruising you think it's only a question of how far he's going to win he actually jumps the last better than Seymour Business Tony McCoy decides to just take a pull I'm not sure whether it would have made any difference if he said go on son and made the best of your way home from there but the second that other horse on the left, Seymour Business, got up in front of him again. He's down tools, he's got loads of ability, and uh, you can't knock him for having a bit of a character challenge you do luck, even if he must be frustrating. But uh, let's not take anything away from Paul Nichols and Andy Thornton, and particularly this horse. They've worked hard for this victory, and uh, thoroughly deserved. See more business.